This is a case of cerebral amyloid angiopathy in a 78-year-old normal intensive demented male patient with new onset cerebral hemorrhage. There are multiple areas of increased T2 flare signal intensity in the subcortical, deep, and periventricular white matter of the left and right temporal regions. There is a rounded region of signal loss within the posterior left temporal deep white matter compatible with focal hemorrhage at that site. There is also patchy, ill-defined T2 flare hyperintense signal within the pons. These susceptibility weighted images through the supratitorial and infratitorial compartments demonstrate numerous focal regions of signal loss within the subcortical and deep white matter. There is additional involvement of the midbrain and pons. Cerebral amyloid angiopathy is typically seen in normal tensive demented patients. Low bar hemorrhages of differing ages are characteristic. Look for multiple foci of signal loss on susceptibility or axial gradient echo weighted sequences. The differential includes hypertensive microhemorrhages, ischemic stroke with microhemorrhage, multiple cavernous malformations, hemorrhagic metastases, and diffuse axonal injury, among others.